Coming up, how many times have you said, I have a great idea, but never followed through with that one? When we come back, we're going to tell you how one company is trying to tap future business owners and give them a chance that they need to succeed. We'll be right back. Here's a question for you. Have you ever said, I wish I would have thought about that one? Miller Lite had an idea once to brew a great tasting light beer. A lot of people back then said that's impossible, but Miller Lite stuck to their guns and well, you know, the rest is history. Now the company is on a mission to empower the next wave of entrepreneurs through its fifth annual Tap the Future program. So joining us now in the studio is the manager of National Community Affairs for Miller Coors and Keisha King owner of Chop Chop Mobile Salon and a 2016 finalist in the Tap the Future program. And I didn't see, say your name, Steve. Steve Canal is here you, with Miller Lite. You. Let's talk about this. First of all, thank you so much for being with us. Let's talk about what made you want to give other entrepreneurs a chance to succeed. Is it because right. of Miller Lite definitely, success? Definitely. When you think about their story being the original light beer, um, you know, we wanted to give other businesses an opportunity to hold true. Stay true to your business idea and your concept, even though there's hundreds and thousands of naysayers who are going to tell you no. Okay, so while you, of course, work with Miller Corps, you're also an entrepreneur yourself. I mean, with the one of the best-selling books out there, um, on Amazon.com. Right, the mind of the a winner. The mind of a winner. Yeah, so I say the corporatepreneur, you know, being able to give uh, entrepreneurs an opportunity to thrive within their business, but also develop this book to be able to put you in the mindset to succeed. Keisha, let's talk about the experience you had last year with this Tap Into Your Future. Yes. Did you, did this change, was this a game changer, life changing experience for you? Because you wanted to be an entrepreneur, did you? have a hard time just trying to get there? Right. It was really hard for me to find funding initially when I started my business. So once I um, entered the competition, it totally catapulted my uh, company. So besides winning, what else has it given you? I mean, did it give you those those lessons that you need in trying to put together a business plan, how to go about good customer service? Yes. It, it helped you in all areas? Absolutely, especially from a financial standpoint, just with forecasting and planning and making sure I understand all aspects of a business. Um, the competition forced me to really take a good look at my company. Steve, I got to ask you about your book. I've been yes. reading it. Um, and you talk about, I mean, her mind thinks a lot different than my mind. Right. Because what she does doesn't eat. I mean, what she doesn't kill, she doesn't eat. Right. I, of course, receive that check every day. So talk to us about the keys to success for some of the people that you talk to. And in this book, you talk to two chains, and I was surprised to hear him and his three Ps. Definitely. When, when you think about the mind, um, you need habits, you need methodologies to instill into your life to be able to uh, have a relentless mindset to reaching where miracles happen, you know, and unless you have those things in place, you're going to be spinning, spinning yourself and, you know, chasing your tail. Keisha, how many times have you wanted to just give up, wondering because it just took so long to get to this point? Oh, numerous times, numerous times, but it's very rewarding and it's just something that I'm extremely passionate about and so I can't give up on it. So you have so. sea socks out there, so do you, did you, do you walk the store aisles thinking to yourself, okay, I got a great product and I believe in what I'm doing but there's so much competition out here. How do you reset your mind to think bigger than that? So what happened was when we uh, go and we actually have these events, um, a lot of women were asking, so what should I put on my skin and what should I use and what kind of makeup? And I thought, wow, this is really a good opportunity to have something for the um, customers to actually use and purchase. So that's how we ended up deciding to introduce a line of spa products. Okay, so you're looking now for entrepreneurs to get ready for the fifth annual. Yes. What are you looking for? Tell everybody at home. You need to be sharp. You need to show us that you can scale your business. You need to uh, show us that you paid attention to your financials. Um, those are very important keys and that you're thinking of the future as well and not just the now. So we have some great businesses that are going to pitch tonight for a chance at $100,000. It's going on tonight. It's going Tell on. everybody your web address if they want to get more information so about where to be, yep. what they need. If you want to attend the event, it's mltapthefuture.com. All right, and then your website, Keisha. It's www. Chop Chop Mobile Salon dot com. Chop Chop Mobile Salon. How'd you come up with the name Chop Chop? Um, you Did know, your mother used to say you Chop Chop. <laughs> Let's go, Chop Chop. That's, that's one of them. But it's something where we're all about convenience and being quick and getting it done. So. Let's move it. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop. chop. Steve yeah. Canal and Keisha Long, thank you so much for joining us. And best of luck to you. Continued success to both Thanks of you. Thanks for having thank us. You.